this script season 3 just ended a couple of hours ago and with this season we have discrete storyboard and it's the future of video editing now there are a ton of features that have been released in this particular uh, version and although the version is still not yet out you need to sign up for early access i have a couple of things to say and this is my recap on discrete storyboard release number one a highly welcome release that is going to be a game changer in the video editing industry so more or less like this script is known for editing videos like a word document now this is boosted by the fact that now we have a completely redesigned interface and before that we have dark mode highly welcome feature so you can see the demo video here if you want to see it but a couple of things uh, let me actually just jump this and let's see this uh, this is let's just open a new tab this is uh, what the Descript interface will look like. We'll have the edit section here that is called the script, this particular section here. And then we'll have the timeline is down here. And then we have the canvas at the center. And then we have the sidebar to our side. And this has combined the sidebar that used to be on the left and the sidebar that used to be on the right. So the properties, the project, the search, and the comments are all going to be in this particular section. At the top, we have the insert toolbar. So for the script section, what we're going to have is that we're going to have the edit mode when you're editing, uh, that is whether it's your transcript, adding in any media, etc. We're also going to have the write mode where you can actually type up a script and then use the script's text-to-speech feature uh, to actually just generate, automatically generate a uh, voice for your videos. And then we have the correct mode. So you can make corrections when you're in the correct mode. Really awesome. As for uh, everything else in here, especially now with the editing mode, when you add uh, a slash, that is the forward slash, you'll be able to enter or add a new scene, which is a highly welcome feature uh, in that when you look at this section, you'll see a forward slash key here or a forward slash that has been added. You can use it to add a video, audio, anything you want, images, anything that you want. So the new redesigned interface and all that really highly welcome. And if we actually now go back slightly, you'll see they're introducing scenes where you can use the, uh, the forward slash key to break your script into scenes and then arrange visuals the same way you'd work, uh, you do it with slides, let's say on Microsoft PowerPoint or Google Slides. So highly welcome, a, re a redesign interface, dark mode scenes uh, it's just uh, 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 uh what, what we've been waiting for uh, just to say the least so we can actually now go down a little bit uh, from the uh, insert toolbar you have the option to use premium stock footage and uh, this is from uh, companies like unsplash uh, you'll see also giphy videos audio effects sound effects and that is uh, the whole thing in between just includes free access to millions of premium stock videos, images, sound effects, and multi tracks uh, and music tracks so that, that is. And then now people have always been asking for templates. Now, if you have a particular workflow, you can use templates, add them to your scenes, etc. Really awesome to see this final here, especially if you create different types of videos, vertical videos, uh, audiograms, uh, social media videos, etc highly welcome now so you can select from a gallery you can also make your own so that you can have your own workflow uh, really welcome for your intro sequences anything in between title overlays it's just a game changer i cannot wait to test the official version out uh, next up i believe we have the multi-track screen recording and this is highly welcome uh, i've always used it in uh, camtasia uh, comes in handy uh, in that instead of recording your screen and the camera as one, you now have two different tracks, really uh, highly welcome. And uh, you can separate the tracks for screen and camera. So that if you want to have uh, a full view of your camera, you can do that. If you want the screen to be full view uh, or just have the, uh, uh, the webcam or whatever camera you're using as just a rounded small camera talking head at the bottom uh, that is going to be available.
pretty welcome feature and also uh, what i believe uh, is really handy with this is that with descript once you record your screen recording it automatically transcribes so it's going to make editing easy uh, probably one of the places where camtasia still needs to catch up i'm uh, not sure if the audit function or the audit software they have uh, does a better job than what i see in this so uh, really welcome next up green screen is available so uh, using uh, Descript's AI background removal, you can put your video in any setting that you want. So, highly welcome. Uh, can't wait to test it out. Next up, color adjustments. You can do color controls, set exposure, contrast highlights, shadows, saturation, temperature, white balance, and skin tone. Also, we got a couple of visual effects. Uh, you can blur. I wish. Uh, I'd like to know if we can just do circle blur. Let's assume you wanted to just blur. Uh, maybe sensitive details not sure if you can do that but hopefully it's just not generalized for the whole track uh, or whatever selection that you have hopefully it's for everything pixelate film grain chroma key uh, more or less like green screen etc so that's highly welcome and also the new clip properties features and uh, what they do is that the storyboard gives you complete control over your videos presentation and playback so you can now rotate your video highly welcome crop your video highly welcome loop the video reverse the video mask rounded corners reflect transparent videos and gradients now all these will highly come in handy there are times when we've wanted to crop a video but you have to maybe put it in camtasia bring it back when it's cropped highly welcome especially when you're doing uh, different uh, videos for example if you're doing side by side and you want just the talking head and nothing else uh, this is highly welcome uh, and then we've got more transitions and animations so what you can do is that the new with the new transitions you can add them between clips between scenes really what uh, you think uh, you might need to use them for but as you can see they're really looking good so uh, and as I've mentioned, we have the right mode. Uh, there is the edit, right and correct. In the right mode, you can use overdub to write your script in the script, laying out visuals as you go. Then choose one of the ultra realistic text to speech voices, or you can actually so swap it out with your own recording, whatever you want, or actually just use your own overdub voice. Uh, you actually you've generated. And if you'd like, you can sign up for early access. I'll leave a link in the description below. Uh, but just to say uh, uh, that saying that this is an update or release that I think changes everything for many people, uh, maybe uh, speeds up editing time. Uh, you speed up editing time with a transcript, uh, with subtitles, creating audiograms, reusable content. So if you're collaborating, works really out, uh, works well out for you and also i believe this uh the option to do multicam where you can do uh different scenes you can arrange your shots depending on the way you want them to be and you can actually relay cameras depending on the way you want them with actually a scene where you can have uh side by side videos etc that's all available and uh since i'm still i believe i'm, I'm positioned 270 uh you can use the link below to actually uh, uh, get on the waiting list to test out this version before it's officially released. It's going to be a couple of weeks uh, before the full version is released to everybody. But that is my take with the complete redesign of the interface, dark mode, multi-track screen recording, multi-cam interview edits, scenes, premium stock footage, templates, green screen that is powered by Descript's AI background removal, and then we have color control, visual effects like blur, pixelate, film grain. We have now new clip properties to rotate, crop, reverse video, do anything that you want in there. Uh, more transition and animations that you can add in between video clips, images, etc. or even inside the scenes. And then we've got right mode. Uh, what I did not get clearly and it's a question I asked somewhere in uh, when the presentation was going on in the Q&A. Is about the audio uh, properties i'd like to see that that was not mentioned in depth if you can add let's say an effect for example a reverb to just a particular section instead of the whole track hopefully that's possible 
but uh, until the official release is out this is Descript Storyboard Recap. My name is David and I wish you the best and I hope that you get this version of Descript once it's out so that you can boost your workflow in video editing and everything that you need to do. Video editing for beginners or even for advanced users has never been easier than, uh, than it is going to be now with Descript Storyboard. Thanks for watching. Until next time, stay safe and never stop learning.